Hey Space Junkies, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Mpo and I'm an Astrophysics PhD student at WITS. Today I will be showing you how I spend my typical weekdays as a student and a research scientist working at a tech company. I start my days by scrolling through Twitter and videos my friend take me on TikTok. I don't struggle to run out of bed because today is a rainy day and all I want to do is sleep. Eventually, I decide to get up and freshen up by brushing my teeth and taking a nice warm hot steamy shower. I'm not so productive on rainy days, but I force myself to do some work today. I don't usually eat breakfast, instead I like to make coffee and have a snack on the side to get me some energy in the morning. I start at 9.30 by replying to emails and Slack messages from my colleagues. This often takes more time than I anticipate. I have a scheduled meeting with my supervisor at 12.30 to discuss my poster presentation for an upcoming conference. And I have another one scheduled at 2.30 with my team manager to discuss a pipeline that I'm currently working on. At 10, I start with the work by going through the papers and making modifications to the poster. This is really difficult because of the restrictions from the conference. We're supposed to do an A4 poster and we're told to strictly adhere to the rules. This seems a bit small for a poster, especially considering the amount of work I want to present. I'm going to present my findings for my MSc, and if you do not know, I was looking at the effect of dark matter in the epoch of ionization. I was particularly focused on WIMPs, also known as weakly interacting massive particles, as my dark matter candidate. There are many other candidates that attempt to explain dark matter, such as the warm dark matter models, axions, Suzy particles, and such. My presentation will mostly be centered around the fact that we managed to find a way to accurately model the exotic energy deposition compared to previous studies on this topic. And a big challenge will be to convince the audience that the assumptions we made to the efficiency functions are valid. After an hour and a half, I find myself getting tired and I start popping some music. Eventually, I look at the notifications on my phone and I start to scroll mindlessly on the internet for memes and stuff. While I do that, I also text my friends on WhatsApp. 12.30 hits and I get on a Zoom call with my supervisor. We talk briefly about my poster and the content that I just worked on. We spend majority of the time talking about the recent paper that did a similar study to ours. They also look at the effects of WIMPs using the global signal of hydrogen and I am tasked to compare our results to theirs by using the exact same masses and annihilation cross sections. At 1 p.m. I get lunch from the dining hall and I am re-watching One Piece to go with it. If you did not know, One Piece is my favorite piece of fiction probably ever, maybe after The Last of Us. Immediately after I eat, I rush to the DRU to complete some work on the pipeline before I meet with my manager. But first, Starbucks.
At 1.45, I get back to work on a machine learning pipeline. A machine learning pipeline is a way to automate your workflow. It consists of several steps that do everything from data extraction, pre-processing, to training the model and deploying it. This is unfamiliar territory for me as a physicist. I have worked on machine learning before and I'm comfortable with it. But building pipelines is more software engineering side and it's completely new to me. I had to take a quick course on Airflow to get some basics of automating pipelines and now I get to do the actual work. At 2.30, I jump on a WebEx call and we begin with the meeting. This usually takes quite some time. We are dissecting each block of code individually and explaining to each other how it works. I get guidance as to how I'm supposed to fix the issues that I'm facing. It is quite challenging, but I am enjoying it. The meeting goes on for about two hours and at this point, I am really, really exhausted. After I got supper and a quick nap, my friends came to fetch me for movie night. On Fridays I tend to spend time away from work and get to unwind. We're going to watch the new My Hero Academia movie and yep, I'm pretty excited. That's crazy. Every single time we need to. My hands are shaking right now. Ah, yes, yes. Hey, Kels, stand here and tell me what you thought about the movie. Stand next to me. Come on now. Are you kidding? That's what I feel about the movie. Hey, come on. I'm tired. It's tired. This tired, of this, tired yeah. of this boy every single time. Come on every day. Every this boy time. steps up and we have to react. Come on. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, I'm not recording. Tired. I'm not recording this. Yes, it was. Tired. Tell me what you think Shit. about him. Shit. <laughs> That's what they actually do. Like, That's what he does. Uh, That's what the main man does. They are this. This man is tired. Tired. You heard it. He said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We came back at about 10.30 and I jumped on a quick shower and got ready for another quick productive session. Recently, I got approached by some authors. They saw articles about Cosmic Dawn online and they asked me to contribute a chapter to a book they are writing. This is what I've been working on for the past week. It's after midnight and I'm getting ready to sleep. Before I do, I tend to read a book and recently I bought this one. I love the character Ace and I found this book interesting since it is outside the traditional norms of manga. I spend some time reading the book and I get to deep dive into the character that I love so much. And after that's done, I call it a night. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below and let me know if you want more videos like these in the future. Thank you so much.